Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I wanted to start a bit of a new series on the channel and it's just going to be going over every single tiger in the game because there's a lot of them now. I think there's something like six or seven tigers in the game. Let's see if we got two, three, four, five, six that you can normally get access to. And I mean, you could throw in a couple others, but for now I just want to stick with the basic tanks and I want to go over each of them individually with a with some gameplay and a bit of a review and by the end I want to have the definitive best tiger tank in the game so uh, let's get started with the Porsche Tiger this is one of now I I haven't been playing War Thunder since its very beginning so I'm not entirely certain as to like dates and stuff for this but this is one of the oldest premiums in the game one of the oldest high tier I know of at least for Germany this thing has been in the game for quite a long time and it's still it's still around and it still does very well at least when you get uh, top tier at 5.7 this thing does incredibly well with uh, its frontal plate armor so basically this thing is it, it's very similar to the Tiger turret wise but it has the same essentially the same hull as the Ferdinand the only difference being that the engine is in the back on this rather than in the front so if you get hit frontally you're basically going to die because your whole crew's clustered here but with the armor that this thing has frontally it's only a hundred mils you'd think but there's actually it's 200 millimeters of steel so it's actually around like what is it like 204 millimeters so this frontal plate armor is basically impenetrable at this BR you can sometimes get killed by stuff through it but it's only when you're getting up tiered or up against very high penetrating guns and even this thing's turret is quite strong it you'll still mostly die by getting penetrated through this especially considering how slow the turret rotates at only seven degrees a second but if you play this thing correctly you can be a very very dangerous foe for your enemies and i've been seeing quite a few of them out lately and they've been doing quite well so let's go ahead and get into a battle and see how we do probably not well because I'm recording and we're off alright so our first game and of course we get Maginot Line so I guess this is the, the part where I highlight this thing's advantages and disadvantages when playing aside from the armor of course this thing has an 88 so it's the same gun as the standard Tiger you're not gonna be dealing with any different rounds or anything. I don't think this gets APCR. I'd have to check. Uh, oh, yeah, it does get APCR. Okay. It gets APCR all the standard rounds, but you won't be using them because the APHE is the best round you get for this thing. But uh, this thing is decently mobile. It's not fast. I mean, we're keeping up with the other Tiger, but he should start to pull ahead of us once we hit this hill. The good thing about the Porsche Tiger as opposed to the regular Tiger, its reverse speed is incredible. If you've played the Ferdinand, the reverse speed on that, it's very similar. I don't think you get the exact same reverse speed in this. I haven't played this thing a ton, but it's very, very good. You can get it yourself out of trouble easily. But uh, downsides of this thing, it is not fast in a straight line. It it goes it goes along like you'll get places, but this thing's a predecessor to the mouse, and it definitely shows when you're playing. We're, we're moving, but it's going to take us a while, so I'll see you when we get there. Alright, so we're just about at sea. Just in time for our team to kill everything off of it, and us to be far enough behind where we cannot assist. Ooh. Maybe not, that might have just been artillery. So... During this time, I'd, I guess I can ask, what do you guys think of the new update so far? I'm very impressed with the new sounds. The The graphics improvements are alright. Not because they're bad by any means, but just because, honestly, I haven't really noticed them that much. Aside from, like, the puddles and stuff. But the sounds are very, very good. Okay, where is this T-44? You got me spooked here, friend. Hmm. 
no, 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 no. No, they haven't. I hear them. They're around these parts somewhere. Ooh. That's just the tiger. When they just give you the kill. Now where is that 122? He's got me thoroughly shook. He's got a big old boom cannon. And a big old boom stick. I don't want that boom stick to go anywhere near me. Okay, well he's definitely still chilling on this point somewhere. Where he be? I'd like to know who in Gaijin thought that the best idea for adding more detail to this town would be, hey, let's put just a ton of bushes. I mean, it looks nice, it's just it's just odd to me. Ooh, he is moving. He may be going on the flank up this way. Ooh, he's engaging the tiger, I think. Oh, yeah, he is. Put it in drive. Come on, tank. Do not worry. I am here, my child. All right, all right, now we're talking. Good teamwork there, Tiger, being the bait. Finally what? What did you expect me to do? I'm not an M18. I thought that truck was an RL for a second. I just saw like flat and I was like sh sh spooked. I want it. Alright. Ooh, PT 76, you say? You mean kill? Tarjay acquired. That was low. Another PT-76, though. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? <coughs> oh, that missed. almost forgot about the plane sounds. They sound incredible. Almost as good as the 50 cal sounds, but I don't know. I think those 50 cals trump anything else that's been added sound-wise, in my personal opinion. Oh. Where is the guy who shot me in the turret ring? Ow! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, please. No. No! Oh, they did it to us. But don't worry, we can do it to them. Alright, so aside from uh, our team not knowing which direction was up that game, 
I feel like that was a pretty good representation of what the the Tiger P is capable of when well <laughs> I shouldn't say that you're not gonna be flanking people like that but it does just kinda show you uh, its speed and the fact that it does have a very good gun even when you're in an up tiered situation like that especially considering you're not going to be facing off against Brits as often anymore unless you're in a full up tier so when you don't face off against uh, like FVs and Scent Mark 3s, this thing does incredibly well because it, its armor is actually worth something. But once you face off against them, you can still kill them easily with this 88. You just have to play a lot more reserved because of uh, their high penetration that can punch right through your frontal plate like it's butter. So uh, we'll have to see how she stands up with uh, the games and the other Tigers. So let me know which tiger you want to see next, and we can jump around as much as you guys want. So let me know how you thought I did in this video, and I'll see you next time.